Today I'm going to not do something super silly or fun. I'm gonna just talk about um, one of my personal struggles that I've had. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name's Alec. You have made your way over to my channel. Congratulations. Here it is. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you very much. You're the reason I'm here today. I actually have a new spot for filming. If you cannot see, I am not in the bathroom or at my bedroom window or in my kitchen window. I am here in the great outdoors. Well, not really. It's just my campus's little salt marsh behind the residence hall that I'm living in. I am here at my university. I just moved in and everything's been going okay so far. I uh, can't really complain. I really like the people I'm living with and it's been an okay adjustment. Even though you can probably hear some birds and some other chirps and squeaks, but for the most part, this is where most people aren't and where I can feel comfortable talking about whatever it is I talk about without people watching me. It's not fun to be watched. I don't like it. We might get the occasional pedestrian, but it will not be quite as bad as if I was in my room or my apartment. The sky is changing as we speak. There is a sunrise or no, a sunset coming. Depending on where the sun is kind of alters where I need to position the tripod. So sorry if it gets dizzy or really annoying that like the background is a little different each time or my face lighting is a little different. I'll try my best to kind of keep it consistent, but there's only so much you can do when you're on a student budget, you can't afford to live alone, and you're at the university where other people are also existing. So, here I am, outside. I never go outside. I'm scared of the outside. I'm scared of the sun. The sun is an aging machine. All it does is give you wrinkles. I don't care about all the other benefits like the warmth and the keeping us alive shit. I just really care about the fact that it gives me age and fades my eternal youth. I've got some people coming. Hold on. Make YouTube videos or something? Yeah. Oh, cool. What's your... It's, um, Alec is nostalgic. Cool. Yeah, I just started, so I'm not, like, super big. <laughs> I want to subscribe. Thanks. See how that works? When you leave the house, good things happen. And I wouldn't know because... I don't do that until now and here we are and a good thing happened so there you have it thank god that those girls were nice because usually people aren't nice to me i'm a really weird kid oh my god here comes a group of dude bros all right i gotta take cover for this one because i cannot i will not make out lucky like i did last time i think it's safe Nats. I hear an ice cream truck. Oh my God. Do you hear the ice cream truck? I literally love ice cream trucks. Brings me back to my childhood. Another thing I love are those 90s solo cups with the blue and purple like squiggly aesthetic. I live, I live. for those. They're the cutest things ever. I don't know why red solo cups were invented when those are a thing. I'm kind of upset about it. Maybe I'll write about it in my diary. This is my jam. They're getting closer. I swear the ice cream truck is getting closer with every moment and I cannot eat ice cream because I am vegan and it's just making me really sad. The closer the ice cream truck gets, the more my heart breaks. But enough about that. I am actually going to be a little bit serious this time because I do want to talk about one of my personal struggles the reason being, it's been a lot on my mind lately. It all started um, when I was 13, I started restricting my eating. And I was just always throughout my whole life really paranoid about wanting to be small and young and innocent and kind of like feeling like uh, I'm not taking up much space, sort of. like sort of felt guilty about like the room I occupied and um, other things. So I just always felt like it was safer to be thin and safer to be short and safer to be small. And because I was um, older than the other kids by a year or so in my grade, it was just always really hard to like be the biggest kid. So 
when I turned 13, I started to restrict my eating and um, of course there were some self-harm issues and things like that, but eventually it got to a point where I couldn't really get out of bed as much. I wasn't talking to people. I actually was forced to go to the hospital a number of times since then and I did develop anorexia. So there's been a lot of different things that have caused this. There was a lot of serious stuff happening with my dad. My dad was really a severe alcoholic and there was some mental abuse and occasional times of some physical things going on and I did have a traumatic experience on a camping trip. I was molested by somebody twice my age and it's definitely had an impact on the way I interpret my physical appearance and my self-worth. A lot of things do affect that because of pressures from society and being bullied, things like that all come into effect when you are having, when you are experiencing a mental illness and going through a really tough time with an eating disorder. Almost anything somebody says, even if they're trying to say it in a positive way, it can be misinterpreted by your eating disorder and it can transform it into a way that makes you feel like you need to uncontrollably eat or uncontrollably not eat. There have been some helpful things, but all in all, it's definitely been hard. It ended up affecting where I could go to school, if I went to school, um, my health, if I could get out of bed, everything. And now that I'm back at school, I'm definitely thinking about some of the things that have happened. Um, last time I was at this university, I actually left here by ambulance. I had a pretty serious suicide attempt um, before my final started. It really, all the pressure got to me. I am really hard on myself about academics. So it was bad. I am lucky to be alive. So I'm pretty thankful for that, but I definitely am struggling a bit to feel some positive things. It's hard to like get pleasure out of something that like you constantly have to reassure yourself is what you want but I'm doing the best I can. I've been at a healthy weight now for a long while, which of course I don't like to hear. I would rather be like underweight or sick, but I know that I can't do that to myself or my family. I have been eating pretty good for the most part for the past couple years. I do occasionally get restrictive and do some weird diet fads and look up some, some content that I shouldn't to learn how to become thinner at an unreasonable amount of time. But those are the things that will, that have and will continue to negatively affect the way I think about myself and my physical capability of living and enjoying life, which seems impossible for me sometimes, but it's getting there. Yeah, and also the bugs are really not helping here. So yeah, sorry that this is kind of like a more somber video, but I'm gonna try my best to kind of keep it upbeat a little bit. And it's okay to be having these struggles. Seriously, it is not something that's just like easy to overcome. So if you are, don't feel embarrassed. We all have things that get us down. I think I'm definitely gonna do better this time around. And um, I'm really excited that I have now a YouTube channel to kind of like focus on and kind of build myself up with. It's kind of like, if you're familiar with DBT, there's this whole side of dialectical behavioral therapy that's about building mastery and kind of giving yourself um, some sort of uh, emotional regulation along with that and being able to tolerate distress if you are proud of the things that you um, do. So I'm proud of my YouTube channel so far. And it's been fun. I remember my first video where I was talking a lot about wanting to be transparent and talking about some mental health stuff. So here I am talking about some mental health stuff. I also have been following this beautiful girl. She um, has a YouTube channel as well. She has a really great um, kind of support network and a great community on her channel, like in her comments. So I've been really loving watching her videos and seeing her journey with her recovery. And reading through the comments, seeing how positive everybody is and willing to kind of like support her through things. It's really reassuring to hear because it shows that people do care about these issues. So if you are curious, um, her name is Shannon, Shanny, 
educating Shani. She's really, really awesome, really positive about everything. And I'm so proud of her for everything that she's able to accomplish with her recovery. I wish I was half as brave as she is about some of the stuff she's willing to um, reveal about herself and her treatment. Following her channel has been helpful for me in these past few weeks. And I really would encourage everybody to subscribe to her. She's awesome. She's the sweetest thing. I have um, a decent support system because there are a lot of people that are willing to talk and kind of hear me out when I need them to. I'm not, I don't have like a ton of friends, but the friends I do have are really great. And I know I'm just starting on here, so there's not a whole ton of um, people that are seeing this, but I hope that I can offer support or at least positive thoughts for people while they're watching my videos. Sorry, I'm really distracted because I don't want people to hear me talking about my personal issues. Go ahead and make sure to subscribe to see me in a more positive light and watch some of my videos that are more aimed towards giving a little chuckle or channeling my nostalgic ways. Oh my god, a bunny. Come here, bunny! Bunny! Come here! But it looks like the sun is just about set and I don't have much time for more light out here. So I think I'm gonna close it down and Thank you for watching my video, because this was a sad video. <laughs> We're not gonna keep them sad like that. I hope I tried to keep it a little positive. Let me know in the comments. I won't get you on film. <laughs> Cover it up with my thumb. Do you see what I have to do with here? I hope she didn't hear that. I'm gonna try and post as frequently as I can with balancing out all these courses. I took on a heavy course load, I'm taking like 20 credits. And I'm excited about it because I'm a nerd. But I'm also a little worried because I'm a really bad time management nerd. So I will see you next time. Skateboarder. He's actually a really cool kid. He like is the only person on campus that walks barefoot with a poncho and I love him. He doesn't know I exist. I wanna find a house alone,